Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this one's a little bit different insofar as I have a little helper and uh, you have to say it's quite something when your little helper asks for Betamax for Christmas. Now isn't that special? Um, so that's what I've done. Um, Lils, my daughter, has a Sony Betamax. It's an SL3000UB. This machine um, this type of machine I have never worked on in my life before. This machine I've not even looked at other than it's physically not damaged, so it's, it's made it through the post okay. Um, I have no idea what's wrong with it. I don't have a power supply, I don't have a battery for it, hence these. So we've got a 12 volt power supply, um, which is 1.6 amps, that's a bit low. I've got four amp. Anyway, I think that's okay. I, I did work it out. Um, power supply, and we're going to have to work out how to actually uh, wire the connector. So we'll do that. Um, I believe, but I could be completely wrong. This has a deck, the the same mechanics as um, a Sony uh, SLC five C seven, and I'm fully anticipating a, a jammed capstan motor. Um, but here it is in all its glory. Uh, it's a very tidy unit. The only thing that's actually wrong with it, uh, from a cosmetic point of view, is the, um, the, the paint has started to um, sort of go to gloop. <laughs> and um, as a result, this case could even be a reaction between the material um, yeah. and the, the, the paint. But for whatever reason, or it's just been in a hot attic uh, for, for decades, but for some reason the, the paint has started to fail. So we'll have a look at that as well. I, I think we might be able to do something with this, with some magic, but we'll see. I'm arty, so. <laughs> you are arty. It's sort of quite different to, to be into retro tech when you're an artist. <laughs> Okay, so uh, without further ado, I think it's time we start taking this apart and having a look at it. We've got off the outer protective layer. Um, and uh, we're going to just have a look at its inputs and outputs and other exciting bits and pieces. So, first obvious... Yeah. <laughs> First obvious thing is, of course, this big door here, and this is where a massive battery would go. Yes. <laughs> Quite cool that the uh, the actual door you don't lose it because there's the, a ribbon. The ribbon, yeah, and the battery goes on top of the ribbon, so you can pull the battery out with the, the ribbon. A standard barrel jack. What's a barrel jack? So a barrel jack is basically it's one of those. So you can plug it in. Ooh, that fits. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so maybe. Maybe we can. We might be able to cheat just to give it a test. Yeah. And not worry about that. What what we can do. This. What I'm hoping this. to do is when we actually eventually get the, the proper main supply done. We don't need that. This is the main lead for now. So that's that's standard. That's that's box standard. Move out of the way. Yeah. So. Eventually, what we can do is from that connector there, because one will be earth, and earth is like the whole frame of the machine, oh. the metal inside is all at earth. So we can work out which pin is earth, and then the other pin in theory should be positive, positive 12 volts. That's, so, that's technical. <laughs> so that's, yeah. Yeah, technical. Maybe. <laughs> but we'll see. So that's actually a good start that we've found that. So we've got the RF out as well, so you can actually plug this into an old TV and that use the RF cool. out. Yeah, so we, we have can do, an old TV. We do have an old TV. We have several old TVs. Several. <laughs> um, so, and it's also got video outs and audio outs as well. So we can connect it up to something uh, with a, and get a, a little bit better quality picture in theory. So that's that. Um, Try not to break plastic. There we go. That would be very good. Then we'd have and a then... bigger repair. Oh, that's good. The deck actually looks really nice and tidy. It does. 
Uh, I think it's had a fair bit of wear. I can see some. I can see the heads look a bit overly shiny, but that's fine. We've got um, several drums and head units kicking about, so we can get that sorted. So I suppose the next thing is to open it up. To open it up. Do we need to so, lift it? <laughs> no, stay there. Okay. So I wonder if that should be a soft eject, and that's long since gone. One screw, oh, it's a little tiny screw. It's actually a flat. That's cool. Sort of maybe a little bit of an attempt at making it a little bit more tamper proof so people just don't start randomly taking the screws out for no reason, validating the warranty or whatever. And that's a bit. Ooh. Oh! There's washers. There's the other washer. That's fine because we're taking the whole thing apart. Um, that's probably why they put the screws, the special screws on, so people like me don't come along and drop the washers inside. <laughs> Hope that doesn't break the entire machine and it blows up. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Keep yeah, the faith. <laughs> so that's that. What do you reckon? Do you think that will come off? Maybe. Perhaps. No, not really. Is it going to be as simple as that? Never. <laughs> Very wise words. Well, it looks like... V A R. Never. I think I spelled that wrong. There you go, there's that washer. Washer. Right, super. So let's... Well, my socks. <laughs> put this back down. And then... Bap, bap. More screws. <laughs> Can I unscrew a screw, 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 screw? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's tightening it. That's no. Santa clockwise. Did you say? Did you say Santa clockwise? <laughs> yeah, Santa clockwise. <laughs> <laughs> Even if I did it in the most unefficient way ever. That's fine. <laughs> it's a fairly low 350. Oh so, my gosh. Yeah, it's a fairly low number. <laughs> I have helped my dad with other machines as well. You have? So I'm a this? trained professional. Do you want this? They're more than me at the moment. <laughs> Ooh, there's a click. Yeah, there was a bit of a click, wasn't there? Was ah, nice. I think these have to come out. Oh, oh we have to take it. Which sort of off. makes sense because if you think about it, there's a huge amount of weight. That you're taking up on the um, sorry, don't worry about that because it'll, it'll come out again anyway. But let's not break it, Dad. Let us not break it okay. more than it's broken. Wise words spoken from the mouths of babes. <laughs> yeah, that's done absolutely nothing. Oh no, here we are. Oh, uh, football team. Doubt it. <laughs> um, and, uh, I'm it does seem to be held at the front somehow. Maybe it's under this or something. Do you have to take the front? Oh, you can't take the front cover off though, because the front cover is actually captive with the plastics that surround it. This so, is not made to be taken apart. Well, you say that. There is a manual for it though. There is a manual for it, there we go, it's just some clips. Um, and then the other thing you've got to bear in mind as well is that the paint probably isn't very good underneath. Ah, uh, true. It's probably glued it. So, this is feeling and looking okay. pretty good. <laughs> so, mirror. 
So there's the bottom cover off. Now. Complicated. There's a screw there. Hang on. There is a way to do this by the looks. Let's just work it out. It does that. There we go. Okay, so that screws out. That screws. Oh, they've all got shape proof washers. Okay, that's cool. Uh, except, well, those two have shape proof washers because they go on to. This is the ground I was talking about, the chassis. So that's... Yeah, it sounds very fancy. <laughs> and technical. Wow. I am amazing at technical things. I totally haven't burnt myself before. Cool, that's worth knowing. Yeah, I haven't. Don't need to do that. No. So, we it's don't know attached. how this is going to come out. Blimey, this reminds me so much of Video 8 Machines. <laughs> Just shows that Sony don't, don't change. 8,000? Uh, 800. Um, AV, AV 800E. Remember that one, the little tiny... Oh, the cute one. I've got the 300 up there somewhere. The tiny cute one. So, oh yes, okay. So, okay, so... Here we go. Here we go. Is and it's looking. Ah, uh... what's wrong? Capstan motor seized. I just had a feeling it's apparently it's a really common problem with these, and the capstan motor just seizes. Aww. So I actually had a comment on I think it was a C five video that I did. So I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, you try changing your capstan motor. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to. So that's actually proved that, yeah, that, that is completely and utterly seized. Oh. So that's that. Um, I like these. Heads. I mean, that's, that's feeling a bit tight, but that's probably because it's rubbing against carpet at the other top end or bottom end as it is now but can you see the uh the belt there is not not happy is it it's all i think we may need to change the belt yeah i think you're absolutely right yeah i've seen you do that a couple of times and i think i have done it once haven't i uh yeah you've done a couple yeah, of no, belt true. changes and and uh yeah helped you've helped as well whereas you've needed it uh, i've needed extra sets of hands so I, my main job is holding up lights. <laughs> so now Fun. the positive side of this is that on the C7, which this deck I think is based on, I'm still fairly confident it is, there's a horrible loading belt that goes right the way across the back. Mm. And uh, that loading belt is a little bit of a pain to change. But this doesn't have one because oh. it's the portable one. It's got a separate motor here, which also has a belt on it. So we'll, we'll Put it up on end and just check that. Um, but uh, yeah, so far so good. It's there's nothing too horrific there. Yeah. I don't reckon. And so actually, that this is actually <laughs> a much nicer design in my my mind's eye. Um, it's a really cute little tiny belt. It is a very cute tiny little belt, and <laughs> probably more reliable than the large belt on the uh, on the full blown system. So that's that's pretty good. <laughs> um, Bound to have some of those. Uh, in fact, it looks a bit like a C9 loading belt, which I've got loads of. Uh, he says famous last words. Okay, okay so drop that down and press eject. And there's another belt in there, which actually looks in pretty good condition. I mean, the whole deck is really, really clean. Uh, the rubber tires look good, which is good because we're struggling with those. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that there. Now, I think... There's some stuff over there. What would that be? That, I reckon... It's either power supply or tuning, and judging by the fact I can see a couple of big coils in there, I would say that's power supply. Um, I was going to say it's for... It'd be something like um, a DC to AC 
come high frequency type um, power supply, but it, I don't think this would ever have any, any need for that. So I would say it's something interesting. Uh, There's some. Um, yeah, this. Toco ink. So, oh, that's flux. That's fine. So that's that's sort of the residue that comes out from solder. It helps solder run, but it also leaves a, a bit of an icky residue. It's fine. You can touch it, whatever. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, so I'm 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 pretty impressed with this actually. Um, oh, even the soft eject is starting to. Oh, it's making a bit of a noise. Yeah, that's the soft eject starting to work. It's, that's. Because it shouldn't really shouldn't really just go like that. Should come up with a bit more. Like Majesty. <laughs> slower. So, but the deck itself, I mean, it all looks clean, doesn't it, Nils? It it's, does. It's, it's a very nice deck. I mean... It looks better than most of the ones you fix. Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, you know, the tyres are nice and white, and the rubbers look really, really good. The heads... Spin. Spin <laughs> quite freely. So we know we've got a, a, a dodgy capstan, uh, which is fine. What's in there? So that's the RF out module. Um, so that converts video signal, video audio signal to RF. So you can plug it into the aerial of a, a TV. So, yeah, really pleased. I quite like all the, the metal shielding, shrouding. Um, gives it a bit of protection when it's you meant drop to be it. Portable. It's portable. Well, yeah, it is very portable. But I mean, it weighs a lot. Yeah, it's about 10 kilo. I'll have oh. a look. I'll have a look on the... Uh, on the specs in a minute because i got those i don't have a manual i thought i had a manual i thought i was really prepared and downloaded a manual but i couldn't find one so uh, hence why i've got a clue how this thing comes apart or even what it's like we so, think it's an sl 8000 it's yeah i mean the 8000 sort of would be the domestic machine version of this but uh, like i say i mean to me it resembles more like the c7 um, but that's only because the C7 is what I'm used to. So mm -hmm. I've I've not actually ever seen an 8000 um, ready to work on. I've I've got one, but I've never taken it apart. So it's probably somewhere in between the two. There's another. So pull things apart a little bit, um, just because worse fear the capstan motor is jammed or was jammed. I say it was jammed. Um, I've actually used a little bit of deoxit, which is maybe not necessarily the best thing to put in there. Um, but in this case, it probably is, because I think what's happening is the brass bearing um, is contaminated. And basically, it's filling up with this green gunge. And uh, you can see here where I've cleaned it off. You can see the green on there. Let me just, not too close. It's a bit hard to see, but it's on there. In real life, it's really green. You can see the green on there, just about. There you go. Um, so, and that was just with one face light. Uh, Wipe. Well, just a, a, a little bit of fluid run in there. It is, Moving the more I turn, yeah, the more Moving I turn it. But it's really stiff. It is still really stiff, but it wasn't moving at all at first, was it? It's improvement. Yeah. Um, what's quite nice is, as with most Sony stuff, um, I mean, we've removed the board now. Uh, yeah, we've removed the board and on the top, which is this. As with most Sony stuff, the, the connectors are all um, unique. And detachable. So you don't have to worry about making sure that you've got them labelled or whatever. It's one thing I really like about Sony stuff. Uh, one of many things, of course. Um, yes. So I think we'll leave this now. Um, this probably will leave this overnight just to soak in, and I'll keep just giving it a clean, putting more out, give it a clean, putting more out. I think I do have another motor, um, which we may well remove from our scrap deck in a minute. Put that on video as well, um, just just for the hilarity of me trying to get the thing out. <laughs> And uh, I'm still, yeah, I'm still really intrigued just to know how awful it is. Um, and it's probably a bit of a cheat because in this, in here, it actually looks really easy to, to swap out because there's just not the same amount of mechanism around it. 
but uh, yeah, so the next thing I think we're going to do mm -hmm. is we'll uh, change this belt. Yes, because it's it doesn't move if you move this. Yeah, it's just had it. Uh, yeah, look, you're just slightly moving it. Yeah. So, <laughs> do you want to take start taking the that screw, that screw, that one, and that one? I, Captain. I can't get it in. Oh my gosh. Are you being serious? I can't really unscrew it. I can't. So I'll just make you look better by undoing this screw up here with one hand while holding the camera. That is. You know, don't. I don't want you to feel like inadequate or anything. Me though, so. Well, yeah, you know. And you've had a lot more practice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just old, aren't I? No, you're not old, but you're older than me. <laughs> you're very polite, Lils. <laughs> you're polite to me. Sometimes. Sometimes. No, I'm polite to you. <laughs> mm, yeah, lead by example, isn't it, Lils? Yeah. Oh my yeah, gosh. You're always leading by example. Uh, the little washers look like gears. That's <laughs> just pretty cool. Okay. Don't know why I like it, but I like it. Okay, so what joys have we with this one? This one's going to be a bit interesting, I think. What if it's horrendous and we're just here saying this looks really good and then it, under this, horrendous? Well, I don't think that would be the case. Um, I mean, the, the other thing that sort of helps a bit, we don't have to take the board right out. Oh, look at this. So, I was wondering what we we're going to find. Uh, so here you can see the switches. These are the actuator switches for the um, mm. the front panel. And this is where the belt connects from over here. Yeah, so that would be probably for um, the playback tyre. Ah. So, because obviously the heads are running, mind you, the heads are running all the time. Ah, no, it isn't. I'll tell you what it is. This is for fast forward, forward and rewind. Ah. So, because the heads revolve at a um, heck of a speed. So they go like... Ooh, yeah, so the, the, the heads are creating the, the, um, the drive for the fast forward and rewind. Um, and then for playback, it's using... Separate motor. I think it's, it, it, I don't know. Does also, it use the caps down? We detach the belt that was attached. Yeah, to yeah. Well, we'll change that as well. I mean, it just made sense to take it off just to get better access to. Uh, we, this um, wipe motor. it? Yeah, let's have another wipe. I can see it's green. It's green. More greens come out. I wonder what the green actually is. It's um. It's sort of the, the copper component, I guess, of, of the brass. Hmm. Brass is an alloy that includes copper. Uh, you know, you've seen copper pipes where they've got green on them. Oh. And that's that's where the copper's oxidised. Um, it's usually when water's been sort of sat on it and then it dries out and you get like a green residue form. That's a bit gross. Well, not really. It. It's really stiff. It is. We're going to put another little bit of deoxy on there. For someone who has little hands, it's really tough. <laughs> oh, wow, that went a tiny bit everywhere. Yeah, it's not so bad now because <laughs> I've got the belt there. It's just trying to get it it's sort of in the pool more than anything. Um, gonna... Just wipe up the rest. That's yeah, not wipe up the residue. So it, does, so it doesn't run everywhere, really. But, and then we have a bigger mess to clean up. So, again, it's not the easiest thing to do single-handed. Uh, do you want me to hold the camera? No, it's okay. okay. There. So that, that is full. Magic. So, I suppose... We should... Take this belt off. Do you um, want to unhook okay. it from the... Okay. Can you manage? Super. So that's off. This is how big it is. Yeah. So, uh, time to raid the belt stash and see what we can find. Um... As you can see, we've changed the belt and it's a lot better now. Of course, we can't get it perfect. We don't have the, the right belt, but we've matched it as closely as we can. Uh, we have our stash of belts.
else. Um, it's quite lovely. <laughs> Some of them are really big. Some of them are very, very small. <laughs> it's a jungle. We have a couple of candidates uh, as replacements for this belt here. We've used plus... Plus gas. Oh, plus gas in here because it works in a different way to the deoxit. Deoxit, yeah. So the the theory is is that deoxit is very good at sort of breaking down uh, the excess residue and cleaning the surfaces. So uh, by using plus gas to now penetrate, I mean it it is. It's it's less stiff as it was. It's better, isn't it? Because yeah. I can now move a tiny bit. These yeah. are the three different choices we have. Uh, for, for the capstan belt. So, capstan belt. Uh, oh, we've also got this as well. Yeah. So that's a random one we found. So I'm hoping one of them might fit. We'll have to unscrew the... Unscrew um, the plate, yeah. Plate, take off the belt, change it, screw the plate back on, and then hope that it works. Yeah, I mean, it's. We were just talking about it and just saying that, um, you know, maybe do the belts. Uh, once we know the capstan's actually working, yeah, <laughs> it is really, really tough. It's got this little knobbly bit of plastic. Yeah, that's what's um, hurting me. That's actually the grub screw. So that's, that's yeah. actually metal and it. it goes through there and, and fixes the, the actual cog itself to the shaft of the motor. So, and there's actually another hole this side with, without a grub screw in it. Uh, is it meant to have a grub screw? Uh, possibly at some point. I mean, I don't know whether Sony maybe put it on as some sort of redundant redundancy. If the uh, if this one ever got stripped, you could use this one and not have to buy a new cog. Maybe, or maybe they just wanted to to balance, help balance it up. Although at the type of speed this moves, balancing or an unbalanced cog is not going to make a lot of difference. Um, I want to thought. Maybe it's also. If this one broke, you could put a different one in the yeah, other side. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm saying, really. Yeah. yeah, so you've got sort of a bit of redundancy there. But um, it is it is freeing up. This one also, there's a bit of an update, because you can put your finger in and... Yeah, it's, it's, it. it's got proper tension there now. Yeah. The other one was just... It was you know, really it was, floppy. It was starting to go to goop. And... Like, Gradually is at stage one of goopiness. <laughs> yeah, um, and you've had like one of these belts melt onto the. Yeah, yeah, we've we've had that on the um, Toshiba's and the the Bush BV six nine hundred deck and the fifty four seventy uh, Toshiba's. Uh, really good for melting their uh, their their capstone. Belts. The rest seem to be fairly okay on those, and uh, like the um, V8 600B as well. It's the same same sort of thing. So, so yeah. So I think what we'll do now. This is going to have to soak now overnight, and I'm going to have to feed it okay. um, some uh, uh, was it plus gas. Uh, just keep it going, and just see if we can free off the motor, and yeah. then we'll resume battle tomorrow. We may perhaps have to change the capstan yeah capstan motor so what we'll do is we're going to put this on one side and then we're going to get the um i've got a chassis a c7 chassis um so we'll drop the motor out of that and just see if it's the same really because if it is the same and tomorrow it's better but not perfect we'll just swap the motor out um it surely can't be that hard <laughs> uh, uh, famous last words uh. So we have the C7 deck. Um, you can see there's not an awful lot left. It's been pretty well Broken recycled and uh, top modules used for other machines. Uh, tuner modules gone. Um, I think this featured on another video as well, though it might not have directly been referenced. Anyway, so time to get this motor out. It's going to be fun, I know. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, uh, not really. And so... Uh, Let's get that off for starters. It's a bit chilly here. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, a I'm bit chilly. I have I have no um anything really. I'm wearing a red t-shirt. Well, I've only got a Christmas jumper. 
a Christmas jumper. Instead of screwing up your back here. In yeah. Winter, well, yeah. I'm wearing a short sleeve t-shirt that's red in winter. Yeah, but you're young. You're supposed to be indestructible. <laughs> no. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's wrong. Yeah. You are wrong. Oh, there you go. See. Oh, With lovely. age doesn't come something. With age, um, it does not come wisdom. Well, so this <laughs> board, I'm guessing, Ooh, doesn't messy. actually do anything capstan related, because this is a capstan motor here, uh, or part of. This This is for the sensor. On top of the motor, there's, there's more than likely, I mean, I'm guessing here, more than likely there's a sensor which will relate which will probably be something like a coil or a pen circuit board and a magnet that runs near it. To get that off, do we need this screwdriver? Yeah, do you want to do that? I'll do that. Oh, hold on. I don't want to get whacked in the face with machinery. That would be... Other way. That's it. Lovely. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Super. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I can see. I can see why people don't like doing this. Um, I'm not sure you will like doing this. Yeah, I haven't read the manual either. So, <laughs> uh, um, pliers. Yeah, my pliers are finally getting used. I got them for sculpting. I love sculpting. I'm a big fan of sculpting. You are. Um, and pliers are used for wires. The armature wires. Yeah, for sort of. A skeleton of things almost, isn't it? So you don't have to use so much clay. Um, and I don't have a lot of clay, but I do have cos clay, which is something I've really wanted for a long time now. Yes. Not not very easy to get in the, uh, in the UK. It's really expensive. Yeah. There's me thinking I might be able to find some sort of exciting use for these machines for it. Looking at the price of it. <sighs> But I've been intrigued by using either 3D printers or, um, or resin to make things like little gears and little plastic assemblies that you just you just can't get today, but invariably get broken when someone who's as careful as I am breaks things. Well, that happens. It's not your fault. It's the machine's fault for being <laughs> built. <laughs> it's not really the machine's fault because what you got to think about. It's just something it's that this. some people, yeah, that's fine. Some people do do forget is these machines are like 30, 40 years old. And their design criteria was never to last any more than 10 years. So, so the, the yeah. fact that they're working now well, and can be made to work so well. Yeah, it, they may not be working when you get them. They may be faulty and may give you a black and white screen with weird white lines. <laughs> You've seen, seen that, that one too. It's static, static. Yeah, isn't it? well. It's called static, isn't it? It's, uh, there's a bit of a generic term for it, but yeah, I can work with that. Static's fine. But sometimes it's blue. The blue screen bearer. Yeah, I think, you're, I think you're computers. thinking a bit more computers, yeah. yeah computers. Blue screen of death. Yeah, that is. Yeah, oh. we love a blue screen of death. Oh, that happened, I think it was at school once, to someone in the class. What, they got a blue screen? I think so, uh, I can't remember. It just went blue? It just went blue. Isn't that something, like, a bit, like, you have to get the doctor? No, not to someone in my class. It oh, their computer. computer. Ah, there we go. That they were on. No, my classmate didn't go blue. Yeah, that would be wrong. Well, one of them did when they tried to eat blue ink, but that's, <laughs> that's yeah, that's probably some other reason to possibly go to uh, the doctor's or hospital. <laughs> it's probably not very good for you to be full of blue ink. Undo that one for me. Ah, uh, yes, okay, sir. <laughs> Other way. Other way. I keep forgetting. Yeah. But screw the difference. It, well, it's practice makes perfect, isn't it? I've used two hands. My hands aren't big enough. Well, that's right. Yeah, this is great, isn't it? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's amazing. It's so fun. <laughs> Trying to break a machine. I mean, that that's slightly where... Um, where does that actually go? Where, um, because obviously this machine is never going to go back together again. Never. I'm at it's... an advantage because I don't have to worry about... Oh, I don't want those. I don't want those. <laughs> can, can I... Can I yeah. break stuff? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Not at the moment. Mm. When I'm helping cook, I love bashing things with a rolling pin. Yes. So I'm bashing biscuits and I get quite violent. Don't trust me with a rolling pin and a bag full of biscuits. So there we go, there's a motor. Neat. <sighs> Is it the same? I don't know. Uh, I'll go have a look. Do well, I won't worry about it for now. Um, we'll just get this one out. Yeah, there's something. <coughs> Put something yellow on the floor. Yeah, it's just. Um, yes, I do. So. Oh, there is. There is a resemblance, as you can see. What's the blue stuff? Uh, that's just like varnish. It's like um, locking varnish, um, um, tamper-proof screw type thing. So. Um. Oh, do you need pliers? Do you want me to break yourself? Do you want me to? Do you want me to help? Do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I'm a tiny bit over eager. You are just a tiny bit over eager. Tiny, tiny, tiniest, tiniest bit. Do you want to? I take shall. the belt off. Which one? Can you? Oh, there. No, the belt. Belt. How do you do that? Like that. Uh! <laughs> Yay! Fingers from the rescue. I think it's stuck under there. That's fine, it's supposed to. Just want it out of the way. There we go. That'll be one little screw that is very, very tight. <laughs> oh, man. That's a try. I always get pulled out by the tries. It's because the ones I need are always the ones that I leave lying about. When you said the big guns, I thought you were talking about a hot glue gun. And then I remembered the one time that you bit your thumb with a hot glue gun. Yeah, that's still got the scar. Yep. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ooh, that is stiff. Yeah, that's why I didn't offer you to do it, because it would be very unkind of me to do that. And also the head might come off the screw. <laughs> But I'm vicious. I know karate as well. Oh no. I won't want to meet you in the dark alley. <laughs> You'd probably end up with a broken arm. Yeah. Or something like that. Something like that. Oh, there's a, there's a washer. So they're hmm. captive, so <laughs> they're a lot, lot nicer than the other machine in, in that respect, I suppose. Oh, that sound. Just pierces right through you. Now, I, I'm fairly hopeful that this motor will actually do the trick. It might have to be modified. But so, oh, I can really see why people say these are awful. Are there's a connector at the back as well. So there's a little connector. Oh, you see, little, so it actually it pokes. I can't see. My so head isn't like a giraffe head. There's the, there's the lead. Okay, it, it actually goes through that bit of metal. And you have to try and work it out. And try and get that pressed in. That's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, it will be a bit of a nightmare. I do have sympathy, guys, for when you've had to do that. I, I, I do get it. Um, it's not easy. No. Well, it's made in Japan. At least it's not made in China like half the things you buy, people. <laughs> like iPads. Yes. And most Apple products. And Teddy's. Which and cost products. a huge amount of money. Everything costs a lot of money, Dad. It's <laughs> cheap. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I think that's there's hope for that. Ooh. That's my hope sound. Ooh. Oh, I... 
So the actual bearing's fine. So, I mean, obviously this is different. This has two rub screws in it. Not that you can see them. They're like deep in. Ah, but, but uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's when I don't know what to say except for yeah, I make a little weird noise. Yeah. It's when I'm processing in my brain but don't want to be silent. Because that's something I do. Okay, well, I suppose the thing is now is we leave it where we are now. And come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow having soaked. You could probably make a video in between videos. Hmm. So, I was just wondering if that was two halves because it seems. Oh no, it, yeah, because there's that gap. It does make it look as if it's like this is a separate assembly on the top, but it's not. It's all one motor and they just wrap this round. That's interesting. So it's actually, yeah, sort of. That's really cool. I mean, to be fair, I thought that's probably how it was. Machinery but... is cool. Machinery is awesome. And I don't understand any of it. Except well, you can you cut do. things. And, and just... I'm listening to you, Dad. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Well, I did help you search for belts, and I found a couple candidates. Yeah, that was great. this in now. Uh, sadness. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to help? Do you want me to try it? I can do up belts. Hey! Aww. <coughs> Famous last <laughs> words. Come on, it's not going through. That's sad. Come on! <laughs> do you want me to try it? Ooh. If I push this through, could you fold it over when I say to fold it over? So let's just push that down. Okay. Good day. Yay! Yay! Sort of. <laughs> sort of. It'll sort do. Of. It's good enough. So let's put that away. So, okay, so motor's changed. Heck of a lot better. It's run oh, on that yeah. now. Oh, so yeah. That's how it should be. <laughs> it's not stiff at all. No. <laughs> in any way. And I'm not wearing something. Much stiff. better. <laughs> so, yeah. So, like you say. We're going to change the belt. Change the belt on there. Do you want me to try getting with the other screw? Yeah. Do you want to undo, finish undoing that one? Yeah, I'll finish undoing that one. I could probably use my hands, but. Yeah, I'll use my hands. It's easier. To anger people. <laughs> Got it in, can't get it back in to unscrew it. Yeah, cool. I don't know, yeah, it's gonna have to come out. <laughs> Not quite enough space to swing it around. Probably, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if there wasn't that cable, probably could swing it around from the top. But... Oh, it's magnetic. <laughs> It is ever so slightly, and not by design. Did you make it magnetic? So, that's quite interesting how the magnet is actually attached with screws. And it's a spring plate. Dad, we need to get this open, but I don't have to break through the staple. I think those are too big. But maybe they'll fit. It's actually a little bit too small, but that's fine. It looks good. Because is this one stretched slightly? It, it will have stretched, yeah, definitely. Um, but <laughs> the width and the thickness of the belt seem good. So we'll see. I just have a feeling it might be a bit too small. That would be a real shame. Do we attach it to this? Yeah. The cap stand motor. That's it. And this is the cap stand. Flywheel. Ooh. Yeah, it's just two. 
it's it's a tiny bit too small. I mean, the belt is a little bit uh, deformed from being in the bag, but anyway, which is partly what's making it sort of fly off. <laughs> I can hold it down whilst you attach it. You hold it down that side? This side? Oh, that's okay. I can hold it in both. That seems actually okay. Yeah, it's a bit, I don't know. It's a bit over tight, really. The... Yeah, it seems a bit tight. It can't go as fast, really. I think that'll be okay. It's not running very well, but like I say, it's got distorted in the bag, so... Um, it and it's fine. got run on. I, I think we'll try it. It, it is a bit... Screws. To my mind, it's a little bit over tight. But Should I screw it in? Yeah, if you can. They are tricky. <sighs> It wasn't exactly lined up, so I couldn't get it in. Yeah, that, one, that belt is what truly had it as well. I also do karate and... <laughs> it, you said belt and it reminded me of black belt. Ah, okay. I just thought you were being completely random. I'm not being completely random. Okay, whoops. Unlike a lot of times, I'm not being completely random this time. Yeah, for a change. For a change. <laughs> so. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Um, what did I think we needed? Uh, to turn it on. Oh yeah, I know. Need the loading belt. So we've got C9 uh, loading belt. It's the only belt C9 has. Oh my gosh, I can't even get this in. Get in. Can you manage? Are you getting there? The main thing is not to not to um, strip threads because the screws are much tougher than the actual aluminium that they're going into. Oh. So if they don't quite go in straight, there's a risk of stripping the thread. Lovely, so I'll just give it a... I didn't... Yeah, no, that's cool. That's perfect. Okay. Lovely. That one was actually easier, the one that's more embedded. So then we've got this the... Looks, this looks fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pleased with that. So we'll take Are this we going to open here. the other one and see what was wrong with it? Oh, it's bigger. Much bigger belt. Oh, to... um, so that belt is not happy. Mm, the tiny, tiny belt isn't happy. Ouch. Are you okay? <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit in the way. It's all good. I've got the teeny weeny belt. So it isn't a C9 belt, so that's, that's okay, we that's know okay. that. Um, <clears throat> okay, we need to get Poor belt, it's, it's a bit... Yeah, 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 it's not... It doesn't seem very happy. It's a bit oval. Um, belt's meant to be circle, not oval. Yes. Not meant to be oval. <laughs> Maybe that one will fit. Uh, it's a tire, not a belt. Uh, this is quite thin. Well, it's thick, but thin. It's medium sized. Okay, so we've changed the belt. Um, it's still looking a little bit slack, but I think that would be good enough. Um, yeah. Pending, maybe getting a proper belt kit. We're going to keep the other belt as a pattern. Yeah. Just in case yeah. things go wrong. <laughs> um, the other thing I've been slightly distracted by is the power. What's wrong with the power? Because it looks like our centre pin positive. Yes, that's okay. Centre pin is positive, out is negative. So we can we should be able to work out this is what I'm thinking. So what we can actually does that do the, mean? we can actually work out to plug in a power supply the power supply properly rather well, we'll than take a battery pack for it eventually if we can get it working. Maybe, yeah. That's that's but certainly... only if we get it working, because making a power supply for something that doesn't even work would be useless. Yes, I suppose it would. Should I take out this screw? Uh, no, I don't need to. Okay. So, and this just 
and does. After we think we've gotten everything that we can possibly fix, are we going to try plugging it in and see how it works? That's the idea. Okay. Because if it doesn't work, then we can have another look at it and see what's wrong with it. <laughs> we haven't even turned it on. No. No, we it's, haven't even got that. Like, yeah, I need that. It's, um, it's not really elegant going up, but... <laughs> That works. Mm. Mm, that belt's no good. Which belt? Is that belt down there? Ah, this this one. Yeah, that doesn't seem like any good. The one that's attached to this. Yeah, there's actually another belt down there as well. <sighs> there are so many belts and there's so much going on. It's so do we need to take this off now? Yeah, so I'll take the this top off? loading system off. I'll take these off. Then. Yeah. Uh, this way? I can't, it's bending the screwdriver. I can't open this. Is it this way or? That's quite tight. Yeah, very. Yeah, I felt like I was breaking the yeah, screwdriver. Yeah, it was, it was tight. It made like a clunk sound and then we were able to unscrew it. <laughs> Amazing. Um. Well, the softer track seems to be working a bit better all by itself. And the idlers all look there's the very, wheels. very good. It's the idlers. So they look do, like wheels. He's do all sorts of. Is it this this belt that needs changing? Um. It, yes. Um. I need tweezers for that one. Tweezers. Um. I know where some tweezers are. Yeah, I've got some. Somewhere. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's my problem. Are, are they missing? Uh, missing in action. <laughs> so let's... <laughs> let's slack off the loading ring. So we're going to take this ginormous ring off. Well, it's just not going to take it right out. Because it will be a pain um, to get it back in. Uh, not, not overly. Um, but it just needs to... Just enough to get the... The belt off. The belt off. Oh, it's another cute tiny one. Yeah, another one that we're probably not going to be able to find. <laughs> so one of these. I'll have a look through the belt again. It was this bag that we got it from. Yeah, it's that belt's not happy either. I mean, it's, it's okay now. That might be it. Hmm. Okay. So we may have a candidate for these, which are this, 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 no, it's too big. It's too big. This box is a push away matter. Mm. 
Okay, so executive decision to put the old belt back on. Yes. It's for um, take up during eject. So I'd like to think the belt will probably be alright for now. <clears throat> We're changing the old belts to this more circular belt so that this poor old oval belt will work better. No one likes an oval belt. Give me out of circles. I like how everything on this is circle. Screws, circle. This weirdness, circle. Circle, 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 circle. Everything's circle. Should I uh, go put this on your keyboard? Yes, that would be great. So we can just cross reference it. If need be. If need be. I might be able to get it. I might be able to get a complete belt kit at some point, so if I've got it, then yeah. I'll check it. So, that's all back together. Which is... Uh, We've done that belt, haven't we? Yes. I mean, you see that's, that's working well, because it's turning the heads. Yeah, like this. Wee-hoo! Yeah, I feel torque in that. That's good. So... Do what this back. Do? Um, so it's pulling. It's pulling strength. That's how it looks when it's ejected. It's like an eject now. Come on, up your pop. Is the button back? Because I pushed it down now it's uh, stuck. No, it's probably because I've just tried to... Oh, that hasn't located properly. No, I've broken a button. No, you haven't. There we go. Pop up. Oh, see that belt's no good. We'll need to change that belt! Hello. I'll start looking. I don't know quite why it's doing that. It seems fine that way. Well, we'll see. Hopefully Barry's okay. This is worrying. I think it's just... Oh, maybe it's that. Yeah, it's that. Yeah. It's when the door... It was down. Did it probably get stuck? No, it's because it needs this. It needs this to actuate that. So that it works when I press a jack. Yeah. Oh, it's just testing and then it went bad. It went... It, it got off. We made it go bad. Gone off. Oh god, Jesus Christ. Maybe we should put our mini, mini this, mini this, this, back, before it gets bent. Oh, okay, well I've got that yet. I've got the big weapon. Our weapons of choice are a screwdriver and pliers. I don't know quite how that goes. Oh no, I think we broke it, did it? No, that's not how it goes. Mm. I remember that was in there. Promising? Promising? Mm. Oh. Fabulous. Why do this? Come on! <laughs> Get in there! Um. Uh. Oh! 
no, I do not know. I love it not a lot, In those situations, oh, that's it. Ah, well, a manual would help. Uh, yeah, we don't have a manual. So, <laughs> manuals can't help us. That, uh, yeah. I have to screw that up. It's a fair, for what it is, for its age, it's actually really not bad to work on. How old is it? Uh, dates from about 1979, I think. So, 13, around 30? Uh, 79, so it's 30, 41 years old. Okay, so we're getting a problem that the eject button was, was, actually, down. was actually stuck down uh, even after the tape had ejected. And I thought when I took this apart, I'd bent this bit here and this little arm here. And I hadn't. It's actually set that way. So it's just enough to tap the bit of plastic on this white plastic mm. assembly to allow the button to be released. Yeah. So it stays down and I thought it was my fault because <laughs> when I was clicking it that was the, the only time oh, yeah, it would go course. down. It's got to be ejected before we even put the lid down. I've got to put the lid down. So let's put the lid down. Mm -hmm. Hang on. That's it. Now press eject. So unlaces and know. as this comes up it pops the little bit of pla white plastic forward. I think it is. Oh, oh, backward. I think it's forward. Yeah, so it tips this plastic forward, like so. And that releases the button. So, uh, yeah, that was interesting, that. I, th I thought I was doing the right thing, and I thought I'd caused an issue, and I, I hadn't. I'd actually just, well, I suppose I had. <laughs> I'd caused an issue, but I think I'd caused an issue. So, uh, but yeah, that now works. Um, relatively happy with the belts, so we'll uh, give that a go. Um, but first, we've got to get the um, the two bits of metal back on, and the uh, shielding. We've got to change a few caps in the um, in the servo circuitry, and the common blue Sanyo cap. So I'm not even going to bother testing it without changing those. It just seems pointless because they always go wrong. And then we will fire it up. Well, at least we have the capstan motor going. Capstan motor's good. Yeah, and we've got pretty much a complete belt kit in there now. So it's enough. I think it'll be enough to test it, if nothing else. And I mean, it's your machine anyway, so I'll keep an eye out for, for belts for it. And, you know, we can change them later on. You know, there's no rush. But as long as it doesn't damage tapes, it's fine, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, cool. Ida's are good as well, which is good. So... Uh, let's crack on with getting it back together and um, then we'll do the uh, capacitors and then we'll give it a try. Okay, so I've run out of room on the uh, on the camera, but uh, <laughs> so I've had to copy some off. But in the meantime, uh, we have done some more capacitors. Um, so these here, uh, that one I think you might have seen. This one was a uh, 0.68. So what I've done here is I've actually tacked together a 0.22 and a 0.47 microfarad capacitor together. Um, so that makes it 0.69, which that's fine. I can't see any real problem, but we'll see. <laughs> so we've got two more to do, which are these, and Lils is going to do the honours. So we'll turn it over. <laughs> and... Okay, it's probably heated up as well, yeah. the soldering iron is. Yeah, okay, so um, it's basically these two here. So here. Yeah, that one there. And then the one heated opposite. Up. Uh, this no, one. this one. That's it, lovely. Up. And a bit more on that one, because it hasn't quite let go. Whoop, that's it, it fell out. It fell down there. Uh, okay. Not ideal. <laughs> it's still um, So one was a one, one was a, f a point, point four seven. So I think that's right. Oh no! 
It it's fell into there somewhere. Uh, I really ought to move this basket and do stuff like this. The amount of stuff that's ended up in there. You ought to move it. It's a bit of a trouble thing. Trouble thing? Uh, let's just risk it and say it's a point risk it, uh, risk to it, one. Chocolate biscuit. So. No, no, get a chocolate biscuit and then you get one. That would be a bit weird. I'm just putting a chocolate biscuit on top here. Hey, our problem is it's solved. <laughs> burnt chocolate and burnt biscuit. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, and if you give me the eyes. Where is it? Those two. Yeah, which one? Can you just go down the other? And the other? I don't want to burn you. It's all right. And the other? Through, they, um, yeah, they're through. Yeah. You do have to generally be a bit careful pushing through components like this, but the print is actually fairly good on these boards, so I'm not so worried. So do the same again. Oh, don't to burn you. You won't. Hot. Again. A bit more heat on that joint. Lovely. That'll do. I've just Not got bad. to wipe it on our Ouch. sponge. Okay, and then that one. It's hot. Yes. As I just found out, I didn't realize you put so much heat on that other leg. Um, and just run it a little bit more heat through it again, just to get it to really lovely. Are we good, baby? So. Right, and then the last one, which is a uh, 0.47. So, should I start getting the iron ready? Yeah, for so death. that one and that one. Oh. Lovely. Am I good? Am I good? <coughs> yeah. Uh, that was probably from the smoke that came out of it. The cough. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Yeah, please. I think it's because I need a cup of coffee. Maybe. I can make you one. <laughs> yeah. I've, I, I, I've used a kettle. I know. I know and I've a used a soldering iron now, so yeah. I can make you a coffee. Not with a soldering iron. Not with a soldering iron. That, that would be utterly <laughs> disgusting. This This one? Uh, the other one. That one? That's it. So just... And that one. Uh, I might not have that quite in the right place. Yeah, I didn't have it in the right place. Let's make sure that is right. It's true. Plus... Okay. And... So, and then a bit of solder. Like a solder. Uh, actually on the joint. That's it. Hi. Actually on the joint. Needs to be on the joint. Where? Point was having it in thin air. <laughs> Lovely. That'll do. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Super. That's pretty tidy. Should I turn off the gun? Uh, yeah, turn off the iron. Super. So, let's have a look. The so, all the Sanya capacitors have been replaced. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we've got that value right, but if we haven't, well, we'll just change it. Well, I'll find the other capacitor that's fallen into the depths of my um, iPad fixing baskets. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so I suppose the next thing is now is to put it back in the machine. And try to get the machine running? Try and get the machine running. Okay, so let's get this board back in. Uh, first thing is to put this cover, uh, or guard I suppose it is. That's yeah. what it is, this guard just to stop the um, any cables from striking the motor. Which would be um, not very good. No. 
Uh, if I can touch it. Oops. Obviously, I don't seem to be able to. <laughs> Sadly. Ah, there we go. I'm just being a little bit mindful that you don't want to cross the thread. Because that would be horrid. Cause more problems than we would fix it. Wouldn't be ideal. No, the, um, I mean, that wouldn't be so bad, to be fair, but uh, that seems to be running fine. Mm -hmm. Then... We need to plug it back in, baby. We need to plug in all the cables back into where they were. Yeah, and... It's been quite a I, lengthy uh, process, because... They take a long time. Yeah. They do take a long time. Um, I mean, people don't really realise that the amount that it's goes into, into restoring stuff or getting, it. getting it repaired. I mean, and there is a thing, you can repair it or you can Break it sort more. of, well, or just restore it. Um, oh, there's these. These need to go in. Yeah. So it's doing the right order. Also... Uh, when we were trying to get open the other, what some call it, the motor, the other motor, we broke this screwdriver, so that's completely useless. Yeah, I mean to be fair, I am using a screwdriver for a purpose that it wasn't designed for, but but it actually quite easily cracked uh, the tip of it. So it was a bit unfortunate. Which means only one of us can have a screwdriver at once. Yeah, because yes. I don't have very many flat blade screwdrivers. I mean, I've got the micro ones, but... Uh, they're not much use. They're not much use in this, really. Do we need to get the little washers on? So, yeah, so the little washers go on the ones here, 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 and here. So I've got a washer on. Goes there, up. doesn't go there. They just they're just standard. Um, yeah, I, I know they went where the um, yeah, the CA yeah, get on with that. Just, yeah, you just don't want to damage the top of the screw. Really, if you can help it. It actually worked. Yeah, I mean it's still sort of there. The gear but it's just it not going further because the gear washer is deciding. That it does not like. Yeah, it's anti shake. Uh, I I think we need the big big. Yeah, big I'll, guy. I'll do it with this because it's. See, it might end up. Um, yeah, that's got across the thread. Sorry. It's okay. Very slightly, and it, the thing about these is they're going into steel, the steel chassis, so it's a little bit more forgiving, not much, but um, it's when it's going into aluminium and it starts getting. I've tightened this more. one as much as I can okay. with my bare hands. Because you do not want to ruin your hands. That uh, is painful. So I've got and one just... more split, uh, trick proof. Does this pop onto there? Yeah, screw goes through it. Okay. If you can manage it. It can be a bit fiddly sometimes. And there is actually, where did that go? I don't know. Oh, uh, I know where that went. That went on the back. Um, am I going to worry about it? No. Uh, I need the big screwdriver now. Can't get it any further. It's hurting my hands. Uh, While well, this board's sitting, to be fair, it doesn't look. Oh, I'm tying that one this way. Yeah, I I couldn't do it with my hands all the way. Yeah, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's your just, hands um, can uh, go so far, but then. You're yeah, I just hurt. thought I'd um, I'd done more than I had. Yeah, that happens. Happens, happens to me. Happens to me all the time. Yeah, <laughs> happens to me especially in sculpting when I think I've done something and I haven't. There, there's a. Yeah, I was just wondering what's going on there. I don't think it's properly lined up. And there's holes there, I don't know what they're for. They're for adjusting alignment of oh, that section. Yeah. I don't even know what that section is. 
Nor do I. But it's there. It will say. What? The machine will literally speak to us and tell us what it is. No, it says system controller. Oh. I still don't know what this is. It's a squid in the It's a connector for the power supply. Ah. When we eventually create one. We have to remember to put on these. Yeah, we do. don't worry about that yet. We're not putting it back completely together yet. Because we need to test it next. Was it still in this one? So, Time for the big test. The big test. <laughs> Don't we need to plug it in? No, not yet. We need to just make sure. I mean, if we go with the... If we just go in with the meter. The beep machine. <laughs> it oh, wow. should fairly straightforward. It looks like <clears throat> the centre pin is positive. And it isn't. The outer is positive. The inner is negative. Oh, is that a bad thing? Um, inner is negative. Hmm, interesting. So we're going to have to make the power supply. Because that is inner is positive. <laughs> More work for us. Yay. Yay. So I need to plug that in. And then work out. My legs. My precious legs. Let's work out which is negative first. So that's negative. This one. Negative. Negative there. No, I don't know whether... Yeah, it wouldn't. It would be too easy, wouldn't it? Always too easy. So... Nearly lost it in the machine, which would not be cricket. No. Well, I hope there's no crickets in there. No, there will not be cricket. And there are no crickets in there. Which is good. Ah, okay. So where does that actually go to? The middle of nowhere. No one knows. Now, why do I have a feeling this is like several different voltages? Hmm. I don't know. Why do you feel like it has several different voltages? Yeah. Maybe it's got several wires. Yes, I know. I was just being a widow with out of beardo. So, I wonder where that actually goes. Now, this is where a manual would be very, very useful. Extremely useful. Um... Okay, so back together um, fairly well. Uh, made a, a temporary um, power, source. power source from the power supply and it does work to a fashion um, obviously not tried the heads yet fast forward and we'll wind up working really well uh, but it's play that we're having a bit of problems with you'll need to hold down the button 
So if you hold it down, it'll work. But then when you let go, it stops. So we think it might be an alignment issue. Yeah, on the uh, the leaf switches on the um, Syscon mm. board, which we had to move to get the one belt off. Um, and so you think it's that that's causing the problem? Yeah. Of, of you having to sit there and, and press just play. hold it down to get it to work. So we shall. I'm not trying to lis listen to music, and you would just have to be here pressing the button for ages. Let's have a look. That would be utterly boring. So I've actually worked out. It's actually the 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 socket for the power looks really complex. There's four wires on it. Um, I know for a fact this only takes twelve volts in. But basically, it's just 12 volts uh, on two wires, or even one wire you could get away with. But if you use two wires, then um, it's putting a load across the two uh, diodes. Um, What's a diode? So got like a half wave rectifier there. Uh, so a diode lets voltage go one way and not the other, basically. Oh, so like a one way gate type thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, bleeding. <laughs> oh, there you start bleeding. Uh, where did that go? I just heard a shape proof. Oh, it went down there. Cool. Where did the other one go? Oh, you've, got, you've gone both. Lovely. I forgot about that. I'm so busy. Nattering. Nattering on, 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 on. There are, there's a... So, that's the forward. Ah, it's bent. Don't you cause another problem with the bending issue? What if now, it, when you press play, it just doesn't play at all? That would be horrible. Well, I don't think that will happen. Okay, so it was slightly, slightly bent back, uh, bent back too far. So obviously not appreciating quite how this goes. So yeah. You can actually kind of see where the washers are meant to go. Yeah. Because there's like indents of where they've been. Where they've dug in, because that's how they, they um, sort of stop the screw from coming out, because they do sort of slightly eat in or sort of dig into the metal and the, the solder especially, you can see it's really like... Um, I don't want to use the broken screwdriver because I don't want to scratch off any of the metal or any of the board itself. Okay. Because I don't want it to be a bigger issue. I'm not. Oh, I didn't know the washers back on there. I put them on. Yeah, that's cool. Because I didn't know where to put them on. I, I thought I them. couldn't. I couldn't judge. What was going on because, I didn't because it was. the indents look almost exactly the same as the washers. <laughs> they do. That's they blend what put in. Me. I thought I was looking through and not finding the, the actual washers. hole. Which screws into. Uh, this is in. Just keep the washer in place. I haven't screwed it in. Yeah, no, the that's, cool. that's all good. Because we broke the mini one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> now I get, have to get some more because that's all I've got now. The big guy. Okay, so... Should I press play once it's in? Put it back in? Should I press play? Yeah. Super. Yes! So that's working. I'm not holding it. Hands so, free. <laughs> let's... Uh, well, press, press, keep pressing, yeah. Well, I'm not going to keep pressing it because we don't need to. <laughs> and let's see if we can get some video out of it. <clears throat> um, it's actually, a, 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 there's something about the sound that those machines make that I really like. And it just seems really odd to see such a relatively compact machine. <laughs> making sort of old-fashioned noises yeah. that makes sense because it's because this obviously this deck is sort of the old like original beat max in our living room we um, have um some of the video recorders in here like beat max vhs, well, yeah, beat max and the VHS yeah. um, that we're going to record 
some videos off because I have a blank tape that I also got for Christmas. Yes. Uh, because my dad, Mr. Peter White, uh, wrote a letter in it inviting me to make a YouTube video with him. That's why I'm here. Because uh, it was a Christmas <laughs> gift, which is quite fun. <laughs> See what the picture's like. Yes. Yes, it works. A young girl that wanted a Betamax for Christmas. <laughs> it's quite an old tape, this thing. No, 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 turn that off. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I stopped it. Yeah, I need to adjust the tracking. Okay. I'll check the tracking, because the tracking's out. It works! Yes! Finally! <laughs> yeah, so actually it's working really well. Yay. Um it, does, it needs a bit of a clean out, but that's it. Just take part to clean. Uh, might have a look at the pinch roller. Oh, can we just but, put it back together? But, uh... We just yeah, need to well, work I on can, the shell. I'll, I'll just do that for you. We just need to work on the shell that has a bit of a paint issue. That's it. We can probably do something to fix that as well, so... Uh, yeah, it just needs just minor, minor work. Should I stop so, it? Uh, not for a second. This is how it looks. It looks very good. It is spinning. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want my fingers to be chopped off. So it seems to be working really well. And um, there's the, the picture. It's not the best tape, but... Um, it's playing well. I've got no server issues. Obviously, changing those capacitors will stop that from ever being an issue, hopefully. Um, until something else goes wrong. But, uh, yeah, so that's it. We have we have done. We have done it. We have completed it. We this got is probably there. going to go in my room. And it's never going to be transported anywhere. This is meant to be a portable, but I'm not going to use it as a portable <laughs> no. because it weighs probably more than me. <laughs> I can only just about lift it off the floor, like two centimetres. I can't lift it very easily. No. So um, that's the end of this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Something a bit different. And uh, please like and subscribe as well. Uh, be absolutely fantastic. So <laughs> it's goodbye for me and it's... Goodbye! From Nels. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next one.